my first video. It's pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna be making this uh, iPod looking silhouette here. Uh, this is a Captain Falcon one, but you can pretty much do this with any uh, anything you want. But uh, let's get started here. So just go file open and just look for a picture that you have. If you don't have one, just go to Google. Um, <clears throat> if you want people to recognize it, you should do something relevant. Like, I wouldn't put something like, I don't know, something that like nobody's ever heard of, because it just wouldn't work. And you want to put something like how in here, it's just like a pose, and so, like you don't want too much going on in it. Let's see. here with me on it okay so we have credits to name and from planet renders for making this render so if they have this little logo you want to go ahead and erase it and I'm just gonna work with what the actual size of it is so first thing you want to do is select a color I'm gonna go with blue I'm gonna go with the blue from Muse eyes so just select your eyedropper tool and select whatever color of the render you want and then get your paint bucket tool and make sure you have a new layer under the render and then click and then there you go so now create a new layer above the render and then change your foreground color to black and fill it so you'll see your render disappeared so right click the layer that you just filled black and do create clipping mask see now we have the silhouette that we're going for as far as the iPod goes I made my own um, I'll put it in the description or you can just look one up on Google but I wanted to make one that would go good with a cartoony looking character so when you put it in it'll be set as a clipping mask where like you can't move it anywhere outside of the renders outline so what you need to do is right click it and do release clipping mask now you can move it wherever so now hit control T and then hold shift and rotate it You can also resize it if you need to. Okay. So you can tell right now that we're pretty much almost done. All we have to do now is add the cords and the actual headphones. If you need to get a good look at where the actual ears or whatever you're using is on, just re just hide click the eyeball on the black layer and it'll release it. So I'm saying I'm going to put them around here and here. You don't want to put your headphone strings up in the face of the render. So I'll teach you how to fix that after. So first thing we want to do is create another new layer and select the pen tool. For the pen tool, make sure that you have it set to where you can where it's like a square and you can see the pen through it. Now, you want to Make sure that your foreground color is set to white. Then go into your brushes and get a 2 pixel brush with 100% hardness. Take your pen tool and select or put your layer that was a, your new layer put it under the iPod layer. And then start here and start with the first chord of the headphone that you want to do. I'm going to start with the one on the ear that's closest you just want to make it go straight to it. Once you do that, right click and hit stroke path. Make sure your stimulate or simulate pressure is unchecked and it's set to brush. Hit okay. Right click it again and hit delete path. Then you see we have one of the headphones. Now for the other one, you do the same thing. You just start with the point of the headphone cord that you drew before and just draw over to it. So right click it again stroke path okay now you can see that the headphone is kind of strung over muse face so what we need to do is use the eraser tool and just erase it off
Okay, so now the headphone goes to his slash for use. <laughs> okay, so now what we need to do is actually put the headphone on. So take your uh, elliptical marquee tool, which is right under the move tool, make a new layer above everything, and just kind of create a little circle. You can hold shift while you do it if you want a perfect circle. And then uh, fill, and then it'll say use. Make sure it's set to color, and then click it, and this will pop up. Make sure it's set to white. It'll fill it, right click it, and then hit deselect. So you'll see we have a circle. Um, if you want to, which is what I usually do, I get in and zoom, and I erase a little bit of it because the headphones aren't actually perfectly circle. Plus, you want a little bit of it to look like it's actually going in the ear, so I did that. And then on this side, it won't be as much that you have to do, like, because you'll be able to erase, like, a good half of it. So every time I create a new layer, fill, okay, deselect. Now, adjust it if you need to. That's why I make a new layer, so you can adjust every little bit that you need to. And this one will be a little bit smaller since it's a little farther away. So there you go. Now that you have that, you want to select your text tool. I use the text Verdana because it, lo it looks the most like the iPods or Apple's text. So let's put iPoke. But and you wanna, you don't want to put it like in some like over it because that would look kind of dumb. Try to find a good spot for it. I think like right here would look good. There you go. It's pretty simple and you can use it for lots of stuff. But there you go, see ya.